if you actually want to be healthy, and this is true for a human and for the whole planet, for an ecosystem, you have to enrich your relationships. What we are is relationship. We're not separate beings having relationships. Like we are the totality of these relationships. So when we wall off most of the physical world and all of its subtler dimensions from ourselves and retreat into an insulated box, only trying to let in the very few things that we recognize as nutrition, the things that we can measure in a laboratory, for example, then we're actually um, starving ourselves. And that's that's this is like how this metaphysical thing comes circles back into the realm of health. And it could be relationships to bacteria, could be to soil, could be like I'm working with one project where they're preserving like the last bio corridor between the Andes and the Amazon, which is threatened with development. But there's like one, you know, 200 mile gap in the development belt where animals and plants and energy and information can still flow. There's no roads. Hmm. Like, and that actually keeps both the Andes and the Amazon alive. Uh, and and so like this is a, this is the general principle that it's kind of the opposite of the conventional idea that that life is a war of each against all, so you can preserve your health and security by controlling more and more your perimeter. So this is why I ask, okay, what are the conditions of a choice in a different direction? And it, part of it is to become aware of things we hadn't been aware of before, uh, to take in that information, including the information of the preciousness of human interaction, of the flesh, of breathing together, and of all the stuff you talk about too, like the, the understanding that health comes through relationship, that bacteria and viruses are not only pathogens, but also many other things um, that they are in some circumstances allies in a, a resetting of the body and a clearing of accumulated metabolic wastes, that they can also be conduits of genetic information that, that, that bring knowledge of the environment on the, on the genetic and epigenetic level into the body so that we can evolve with the environment. Like there are, they, they are many, many things. And when we fully receive that whole range of information from like the intellectual scientific stuff to the information that you get from a hug and we say, yes, I accept this information. Then the conditions of the choice change. Because what was in shadow wasn't only like the bad stuff. It was also like we weren't fully aware of how precious touch is. And maybe now it's just like when you have a brush with death and you realize how precious life was. Maybe now we incorporate all of this preciousness into our choices moving forward. <laughs>